Hey Leos, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. Oh, <laughs> I'm coming back to do you versus them, you and your person. Let's see what's going on with you and your person this week. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. And I just want to say thank you guys for showing out on last week. I think now we've hit over 6,000 views on the Leo video from last week. So your girl just wants to stop and say thank you, Leos, for showing out. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscriptions. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the love, okay? For Leos and their person, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> you versus them. What's going on? What's the mutual? Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So someone could be thinking about the past. Someone could be waiting. Someone could be thinking about investing. Okay. In this connection. This could have something to do with finances. Okay. With the Seven of Pentacles. How do you feel about this person? Two of Swords. Okay. So you're still trying to make a decision. The verdict is still out. How do they feel about you? Nine of pentacles. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Could be an earth sign that you're dealing with for some of you with the pentacles energy here. Air sign energy as well. What's the potential outcome for this week? Queen of swords. Ooh. Okay. Like I said, air sign energy. <clears throat> Ooh. I just felt the, the air kind of get sucked out of the room here. Someone may have their guard up. There could be communication coming in, but someone could have their guard up as well. Okay. Ten of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> <clears throat> so like, like I was saying, could be an earth sign or you just uh, dealing with a lot of money here. Somebody got money. <laughs> Who is this? Ooh, some of you dealing with the Gemini. Three of Swords, Four of Wands. Ooh, okay. Oh, Leo. Can I just say some of you could be fighting over a house? I do see that. Some, some of you are fighting over a house or you don't like where you live. Get ready to transition out of that. Out of that area, that neighborhood, that city. Some of you... There's been like fighting or arguing possibly inside the home. And you're tired of that. Four of wands with the three of swords, the five of wands. That's a lot of fighting, arguing around possibly this relationship. And it has brought heartache here. <clears throat> but I do see the lovers and the ten of pentacles. That's like somebody is coming in. They could possibly be well off or very just very financially stable. Ooh, okay. I had to say what I was seeing there. Okay, let's get right into it. Seven of Pentacles for Leo. Seven of Pentacles for the Mutual. Six of Swords, okay. Three of Cups, okay. And the Lovers is back out. Gemini's energy is here. Ooh. Some of you, you could have been waiting for a while to be with this other person. There's passion here. You're leaving something and you're going toward the like the love of your life. Ooh. What's that three of cups there? Three of swords. Uh-oh. Somebody gonna have to um get hurt. Okay, lovers, four of pentacles. What's that six of swords there? Show me. Okay, we pulled two. Wow. Five of cups, king of wands. Yeah, if you were dealing with the fellow fire sign, uh, somebody gonna have to get their feelings hurt because I, I see you moving on to someone else here. That's, that's the mutual energy. Mm-hmm. Now, this King of Wands person, it could be you. It could be you. That's the King of Wands. You're a Leo. But someone has regret here. Regret, but uh, I don't think it matters because I, I see you 
moving on to this lover. Some somebody is in love here. Mm. What's this two of swords? What's going on? Why are you feeling the two of swords right now toward your person? Could be dealing with an Aries for some of you. Okay, two of swords. Two of cups. Ten of wands. Wow. Yeah, if someone had you confused, frustrated, upset, worried, having you in this confused state, two of swords, some of you, and this is the energy that cancer got. So some of you could be dealing with the cancer or you may have that in your chart. Some of you, it's like, I love someone else or I want to be with someone else. Ten of wands, you could be overwhelmed with thoughts of this soulmate energy. Ooh. Now, some of you, you could be waiting on someone who's married. Okay? Take it as it resonates. With, when that emperor comes out, that's my husband wife card. You could be waiting on someone who's married, but the two of you, you know there's a connection here and that's why it's a burden. Okay? Wanting to be with someone who has a choice, two of swords. Someone could have a choice between you and another person or you have a choice. You have a choice. You po possibly are married and you have a choice between who you're with or who you're in love with. Ooh, this is cancer energy for sure. Y'all may want to check that reading out, okay? Even if you're not dealing with the cancer, you may have that in your chart for some of you. But I, I see it there. Like there's a love between you and another person. That two of cups energy cannot be denied. And that's why it weighs heavy on you. And you're trying to figure out what to do now. What's this nine of pentacles? Because you know how sometimes you're in a relationship, but then you meet someone who just gets you, who sparks your energy, who lights your fire. Some of you are walking away from this king of wands person. Maybe they were a player. Someone was a player in the past. And you ended up stumbling upon love with another person. Some of you are just moving on. It's like, I've made my decision. I'm moving on and I'm getting with an emperor, male or female. It's the energy of an emperor. I'm getting with an emperor. Whoa, what wants to come out? Okay, these just fell out. Look at that. Like I said, some of you dealing with the cancer. Queen of Cups is here. Could be um, Pisces or Scorpio as well. Yeah, some of you, if you are the queen of cups, some of you are realizing your feelings for another person, okay? You could be wanting to have a conversation about this, about how you feel, knight of pentacles. You could be moving slow, okay, to offer something because you're still thinking about it. So we'll put these cards over here. Show me that nine of pentacles for how this person is feeling toward Leo, the star could be an Aquarius. This person sees you as their wish. Yeah, five of pentacles. Yeah, they could be working on their finances right now. Five of swords. Yeah, this person is strategizing. What are they strategize, strategizing there? Could be a Sagittarius for some of you. Okay, they're waiting for what? To make things right. Justice, okay. Waiting for the right time. Sorry, had to correct myself. Could be a Libra that you're dealing with. Somebody is waiting for the right time. Could be waiting for you to get a divorce. Temperance with justice. That could be legal documents. Maybe someone is asking you for proof that you've been, that you know, that you have the divorce papers. They need proof. Okay. Someone needs proof. This could be you as well. They know that you're waiting on them to get a divorce. You're waiting for proof. Take it as it resonates. Not everyone is married in this situation. I get it. Okay. Show me. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Yeah. I feel like someone is already in a relationship and this person is trying to get single. Nine of Pentacles or they're waiting on you to get single. Okay? Somebody is waiting on the other person. 
and they could possibly be blocking out a queen of pentacles. That could be a baby mama, baby daddy that they're saying no to. Blocking out this person who they've been with for a while. This person, they've been with somebody for a while. They could even be legally separated from this person. But it's like you need proof and they know you need proof. They're trying to get proof for you, but it's taking a while to go through a divorce Oh, okay. Okay. What is this person's intentions for Leo? Yeah, they want to wife you up, husband you up. Yeah, emperor and empress. Plain and simple. The two of you know you want to be together, but you may have uh -huh, this queen of pentacles sitting in the middle of the two of you. Okay? This person, if, the, if they're not uh, with a third party, this person could be waiting on money. Money from a divorce, something with court here. This person is waiting on money to have, remember I said they're working on their finances, nine of pentacles, five of pentacles. Working on their money, trying to strategize here. They could be fighting in court with someone. Okay. This could be you as well. Put the characters where they go. So money could be an issue. Someone is waiting on more money, money from a settlement money from a divorce okay money could be sitting in between the two of you the queen of pentacles could represent that okay if you're not dealing with another person per se okay yeah look at that king of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck so the two of you yeah whoa is this a four party oh okay so for some of you this could be a four party where you were in something and this person was in something and now the two of you want to be together, okay? So take that as it resonates. For others of you, I feel like this person in the future, Will of Fortune, they want something with you. They may have been loyal to another person, may have been stuck in another situation, Leo, but this person wants something with you, okay? Wow, how else is Leo feeling? The devil energy, Capricorn, page of cups, queen of wands. Woo. Whoa. King and queen of wands is here. Yeah. You have a lot of passion for this person. Lots of passion here. Could be a score here with the death card. Oh, Whoa, okay. Some, yeah, I feel like you guys, something has been held a secret. You've had to keep your feelings secret for someone. Someone could be rushing in toward you. There could be some type of transformation here. Okay. Yeah, when it comes to this person... Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, yeah. Woo, some of you, let me just say, Leos, you've been through something crazy. I feel it. You've been through something crazy with another person. And it's like, I'm ending that, I'm leaving that situation, and I'm going to be with who I am passionate about. I'm going to be with the person I feel the love toward. But you may have been stuck in a situation that was like the devil. Stuck with a devil. Okay? And now you're coming to tell someone how much feelings or passion that you have for them. Page of Cups with the Queen of Wands. Some of you could be expecting a child. Some of you could be expecting a child. There could be a love child from this person that you're connecting with. So get ready. That could be what the Empress is. But for others of you, if you're dealing with a marriage, I see fighting in this marriage or a court battle. There's some type of court battle here with a marriage. Okay. For some of you who my married Leos, okay. Separating from someone or you're with someone who's going through that. 
What's this Queen of Swords potential outcome for this week? Seven of Cups. Outcome for this week. Four of Cups. And the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like the two of you could, there could be a lot going on right now. Both of you are busy. Seven of Cups. Four of Cups. It's like I, I can only look at the cup right now. I can't really accept it. But my intention is to have long term. Ten of Pentacles. Or again, we're both so busy this week. I can't accept the cup right now. You know, I need more money or I'm waiting on money. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. King of Cups is still at the bottom of the deck. This is the person that loves you who you have love for. Okay. You're waiting to be with each other. But I do see other factors coming in between the two of you. Okay. Right now. At least for this week. Emotions going on in this connection. What emotions are playing out in this connection? Boredom. <laughs> yes. That's what this is. The Four of Cups. It's like you're busy. You're waiting on each other. There's a lot of waiting. So you could be bored. Like, uh, can we just be together? But work could be coming in the way. Both of your careers with that Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, waiting on money. Some of you are bored in another connection. This person is bored. That's why it's causing anxiety here. Someone is struggling with anxiety. Or this situation has been stressful. Yeah, someone will be disappointed. Remember I said someone could get hurt out of this situation. But it's like, oh well. Someone could also be struggling with anger here. Yeah. This situation, I feel it. There could have been some, some hostile energy around this. Yeah, that's what I'm like. I don't know if there's fighting over a home, fighting in the home. I feel the anger. I felt it at the very beginning. That's why I had mentioned that. Wow. What is the sexual energy between Leo and this person coming into their life? What is the sexual energy between Leo and this person? We have spank me. Ooh, okay. We have put it all the way in. I can take it. Mm. Whew, okay. Dance for me. Somebody like you to dance for them. They want to see you dance. They like when you dance. Could want you to strip. And one more. Virgin. Ooh. <laughs> if you're not uh, a virgin, you could be watching this. But for some of you, maybe that's how it felt. Mm. If you catch my drift, maybe that's how it felt. Stop holding back. Mm. Ooh, okay. Let me move on. All right. So what's the love energy between Leo and this person? Love energy. Other people don't understand our love. Yeah. Because it's, it's a bit taboo. I do feel that energy, you guys. This is like a taboo connection. So other people may not understand why the two of you want to be together so badly or, you know, why, why is this causing so many problems? You may not even understand why, but yeah, you may feel, they may feel, and you may feel like other people don't under, understand the two of you. You make me laugh so hard. See, Cancer's got that card as well. I was getting that the two of you just make each other laugh. Okay. Okay at least in their reading. And so for that card to come out for you guys, like I said, definitely could be dealing with a cancer. <clears throat> definitely could be. That doesn't make sense, but <laughs> you catch my drift. You get it. I respect you. Wow. Someone is saying that they respect you. Others don't compare. Yeah. If they were stuck in another relationship or they're stuck in something else right now, that person does not compare. Why? Because of this. They're seeing you as the Empress Leo and Queen of Pentacles doesn't compare. Other people don't compare. They have a lot of respect for you. Seeing You see them as the Emperor and they see you as the Queen of... The Queen of... <laughs> they see you as the Empress. 
And I was about to say the queen of pentacles could be sitting there in the way. And they're like, no, that's not getting it for me. Look, you just give me like no other. Wow. Yeah. So this person, they definitely, if I can get the words out, they definitely feel a strong connection toward you and wanting to be with you. Okay. Advice for Leos in this situation. Life review. Okay. Cancer's just got this. Life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Because I do see, you know, three is a crowd, you guys. So three is not going to work. It has to be two to where it's balanced. Change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So take inventory of your life. Do a life review. <clears throat> And some of you are already in the process of cleaning out the trash and bringing someone new into your life. Advice for them is you know what to do. Cross watcher dealing with the Leo. You know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. You know what to do. If you, cross watcher, if you are stuck in a situation, you know, the divorce or separation has been taken a while. You've been stuck, you know, dealing with baby mama, baby daddy, drama, all of that. You know what to do. Don't keep wasting time because you have Leo over here like, what's up? Okay. Okay. I think that's it. Alrighty, Leos. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope I was able to shed some light on your situation. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also my other channel, Sophia Monet Talks. Subscribe to that as well. I'm trying to grow that channel. So help me out, you guys. Check that channel out. The link is in the community section of this channel for Sophia Monet Talks, one word, Sophia Monet Talks, okay? Also, last but not least, pick up my book, Sleeping Adam, all about my dating experience and how uh, I messed up a situation, <laughs> things that I've learned when it comes to dating, sex, you know, soul ties with different people. So get this book today. It is a great read, you guys. My first published book, Sleeping Adam, available on Amazon right now for the paperback and the Kindle version. Pick it up today, you guys. I would appreciate your support. Thank you so much for tuning in and take care. Bye.